Yeah. I don't have no friends. 43 years old. And I don't have no friends. And I ain't mad about it. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> y'all seen the intro. And it's true. I don't have hardly any friends. I am 43 years old. I've been on this earth. 43 years old. And I'm looking at all these people that are meeting new people, that are making connections with people, and that are putting themselves out there to connect with um, new people. And I'm looking around and saying, what the hell is wrong with me? And I've come to this conclusion. After much sitting and thinking, I'm holding my cup. I don't know if I want to put it down or hold it. After much sitting and thinking, I thought about it. Do you really need friends? Is having a friend group necessary in order for you to thrive and um, become a better person? And I came to the conclusion that no, it isn't. I've discovered that although I do not have friends, I do have a pretty nice village. Um, and when I say that, I mean, the two people that I consider, um, friends, I also consider them my sisters from another mother. Um, and I've known these women, I was Audrey, 19 years and I've known another one. 17 18 years give or take and within that we've created a bond we've created an understanding with each other they know me i know them um these are women that i can get advice from learn from cry with pray with talk about my relationship with not everything but if i have questions i go to my friend that's been married almost 19 years if i want another relationship advice i go to my friend that's been married that i mean not been married but she's been with her significant other maybe 15 16 years maybe yeah probably 15 16 years so although i don't have friends outside of them I know why and I'm gonna tell you why the friend circle that I do have the two friends that I do have um they understand me they understand that I'm not the type of person that's gonna call you every day I'm not the type of person that's I'm not gonna I like the text I'm a texter they know that about me I'll text you before I call you because I'm just not I don't like holding phones <laughs> um they understand that I'm not gonna be outside like that. I'd rather be in the house with my with my family. When I get off of work, I don't wanna do nothing but come in the house, take this wig off, take these lashes off, and chill with my husband and my kids. That's it, that's all I wanna do. I don't wanna go have brunch, I don't wanna have girls night, I don't wanna do none of that. I also have the type of friends that understand that although I don't talk to you every day, although I don't see you all the time, we at least try to make it at least once a month where I lay eyes on them or I hear their voice or there's some type of communication. It's like being in a long distance relationship. But what I will say is when it's time to really show up for each other, we show up for each other. And what I've noticed is I like having friends that are couples. Because my single friends don't understand marriage things and I can't do single stuff <laughs> I can't do single stuff so I prefer to hang around other couples um so it just works out my friendships just work out because the women that I am surrounded by they're either married or they're in long-term relationships they're not outside like that they're about their family and their spouse they get out when they do get out they get out every now and then 
but it doesn't have to be all the time because and then we don't feel the type of way if we're not hanging out all the time and when we do connect that meet up or have a lunch date or a brunch date it's like we never left or, or we've been talking every day you would never tell that hey a week's went by hey two weeks have went by because nothing changes the love is still there the respect is still there the admiration for each other is still there so I was like, do I need to add more friends to my core? And I was kind of like, no. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm not that trusting of people. I have an issue of trusting people. And the more I'm learning about myself and really, um, as I become older, I'm learning that I've had instances where people have burned me and take my kindness for weakness and have, not display the certain type of friendship that I was giving. So here I am giving, giving, giving. And in return, I've been disrespected. I've been showed disloyalty. And they're not, they don't value friendship the way I value it. And I'm an old school friend. <laughs> so um, I'm that friend you could call I don't care what time it is i'm coming i'm gonna get up if you need to talk and vent i'm that friend that if you like somebody i don't care if you just like them they're off limits i'm not talking to them i'm not even interested in them i'm the friend that she can't talk about you in the room and you're not here to defend yourself and she definitely can't talk about you to me and you're not here because whatever she says, she needs to be able to say it while you're in her presence. I'm that friend. I'm not the friend that's going to be sitting up here cock-on behind your back. I'm not that friend that when I get in front of people, put you down. Or try to make myself bigger than that to dim your light. I'm not that friend. And my husband says sometimes that's my biggest thing. He used to see me dim my light for other people and i've stopped doing that and i've just noticed that i like being like this i like having just those two people as my friends as my sisters and then also i have my blood sister who happens to be my best friend in the whole wide world she's my best friend like she's my best friend and then my husband people think i be joking but my husband is literally my best friend as well i have a husband who's a best friend i have a sister that's a best friend and i have best friends that are like sisters to me so I have it all and I feel like because of that I don't need to add anybody or anyone to my circle I don't need to go to the brunch dates I don't need to go to the ladies nights I don't need to do any of that and you're probably like but you'll get bored just being in the house and just not meeting new people no because what I've also learned in my experience and this may be different for everybody else Women are catty. Sometimes they can be jealous. Sometimes they can be, they can be gaslighters. And I just don't have the time. And I don't, I'm a no nonsense person. I'm a very blunt person. I say, and, and that's another thing. My friends know me. I'm very blunt. I say what I, what I need to say to you. And that is what it is. I've learned to say it respectfully. I've learned to, to watch how I deliver what I say, but I stand on business when I say it. And because I have friends that are the same way that I can tell them when they're wrong, they can tell me when I'm wrong, that we support each other, we we encourage each we encourage each other, we pray for each other. Um think that's all I need so I was like am I crazy for not wanting to meet new people or add new people to my circle like why can't I be content 
I'm actually content. I love this life. I love this version of me because there was a time where I feel like I had to have friends. I had to have a circle. I had to meet new people. If I didn't have friends, it was sort of like looking for validation from people. But then one day a light clicked and I realized I didn't need validation from anybody. That I was okay with me. And that I didn't need an astronomical group of friends to feel loved, to feel, to feel valued, to feel appreciated. Because the love, the value, and appreciation that I feel already is genuine and I know it's genuine. I don't have to doubt it. I don't have to second guess it. I know these women are not going to ever tell me anything wrong or there's, we're never jealous of each other. We may get inspired by each other. We may um, learn from each other, but there's never a jealousy. There's never competition. There's respect. And nowadays in people, I don't see that. I don't see people valuing friendships, respecting each other's boundaries, respecting each other. I don't see, I just, I don't see a, I just don't see unity when it comes to friendships anymore. I feel like friendships are one-sided sometimes with people and they're not genuine. And I'm the type of person, if I love you and I care about you, I'll go to hell and back for you but if you hurt me or you do something that ain't no coming back from you are d dead to me it's like you never existed and i don't want to go through that i don't like feeling like that i don't like having to be that person because i'm a true aquarius if you do something to me i'm gonna get you back Somehow, some way, it might take three years, four years, five years, ten years from now. I'm going to get you back eventually. So, <laughs> to keep that from happening, I just choose to love the people that love me, surround myself with the people, my core people, and just leave it at that. Now, I have associates. I have people that um, I talk to every now and then, but what I'm finding more and more about myself is outside of those sisters and my sister and my husband, I really don't like being around other people. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I just don't. Um, and then I don't know because sometimes I feel like I have Virgo tendencies because although I say that my job, I formed relationships with my coworkers and I love them and they love me and we support each other. Like my boss married and married me. She married me and my husband. Um, the guys that I work with, cause I work with two other guys. I, I, uh, there's a cleaning lady there but she's temporary but I like her too she doesn't really speak much, much English but she's always like a bright light she comes in there she's always happy and we just really love her and then my, the guys are like my brothers they're protective over me um, I'm spoiled and when I say I'm spoiled I'm spoiled in every aspect I'm spoiled at home I'm spoiled at work I'm spoiled within my friendships I am 100% spoiled um but even the guys at my work I adore them I love them they're like my brothers and I learn from them as men because what I've learned is when my hu my husband is my protector he just is but when he's at work he can't protect me the way he can protect me when I'm in his presence. And I feel like my coworkers, they do that. Like they don't play about me. Like if somebody <laughs> is messing with me or, or even if I'm doing something wrong, they'll call me on my stuff and they'll, they'll talk to me about it. Or if somebody's messing with me, like one day I can remember this lady made me so mad 
and I couldn't do nothing to her because she had that's how bad she pissed me off I was almost in tears because I think people do things to you because especially when you're on your job because they know you can't respond because your response may result in you losing your job and she's talking to me like sideways and I love my job. Like, I honest to God, I love my job. Like, I get up and go to work every day happy. I leave work, I'm happy. I love my job. It's the best job ever. And she was talking to me sideways. And I was almost, I had to hold it. I didn't let her see me sweat because I never let a person see me drop one tear. I held it in, but I was steaming mad. And I remember... My coworker, one of my coworkers was upstairs and I called her. I said, I need you to come to the desk because I need to go take a walk real quick. I need to cool off because I had already talked to my boss and she was like, go take a walk, cool off. It's okay. So I called him and he came down and he was like, what's wrong? And somebody had witnessed her talking to me crazy and they were just like, it's okay. You know, don't worry about it. Th at this point, he had get my coworker had gave me a hug. He was like, "It's okay, go walk." And I could just feel myself crying because I was so mad because I wanted to hurt that lady so bad. Because I knew that if I wasn't in that uniform, she would dare not talk to me like that. Because I would have annihilated her existence. I know this, and I, knowing that I couldn't do anything just infuriated me like so bad. So. It was like at that moment, because my protector was not there, it's like because I look at them like my little brothers, they were there. So it's like, you know, they have become my friends too. So it's like, I don't know. I don't, I think what I have now is enough. I don't, I don't see myself meeting new people. Are wanting to get to know new people like right now one of my well two of them will be leaving like really soon and I don't know how I feel about that I'm happy that they're moving on like I'm excited for them but it's just gonna be an adjustment just like because for me when I build relationships I take my relationship seriously and my boss is leaving and I, I just love her and adore her Cause you, you know, you're not supposed to like form these type of relationships within your job, but sometimes things happen and you do, and you f form those connections with people and they become more than just your coworkers. They become like family to you. And that's what these people have become. So it's like, I'm taking that kind of hard that she's leaving. And then my other coworker, he's leaving. And that's my dog. Like, Everybody know, like my husband even knows that is my work bestie, like for real. Like that is my dog and he's leaving and it's just gonna be me and my other coworker, which is cool cause he's a great coworker. Um, but it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different and it's gonna be an adjustment. And you know, sometimes when you, when people move on or and it's crazy because I'll still be able to talk to them. I'll still be able to um, be around them and see them. But it's nothing like coming to work and you have those core people. And you know they ride for you and they have your back. Like these people have rode for me and had my back. When people come at me sideways, they are 10 toes down. And you don't get that at a lot of jobs. You don't get that with a lot of people. And these people have been 10 toes down with people coming me sideways. And I just feel like, although my other coworker is like that too, I don't feel like I have that complete shield that I had. So it's crazy. So I probably am off topic. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I am going through it right now at 43. I'm going through it, guys. I am adjusting to this marriage was not an adjustment but everything else has been and just really like sitting down one day and just was thinking like dang I ain't only got no friends if I leave this earth tomorrow I ain't got nobody but my family my two sisters 
my three co-workers and my husband and my kids. That's it. That ain't gonna be a very big <laughs> But it's okay. It is okay. <sighs> y'all, I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. Cause I don't know. I just feel like I look at people my age at 43 and 40 in their 40s and they have all these friends and i'm looking like girl you ain't even got girl, you can't even count on have on one hand how many friends you got because i'm the type of person i'm a nose nonsense person too you you ain't if you don't move correctly or you move for kind of funny and i look at red flags i'm a big person when it comes to red flags red flags i'm gonna move around because i don't have time and you ain't got to explain yourself and I don't want no explanation. I'm going to dismiss myself. You ain't got to move. I'm going to move me myself. And that's just how I am. And that's probably why I got no friends, Harley, because I'm a no-nonsense person. Like, I feel like I don't have to put up with nobody, miss. I don't have to deal with nobody, miss. If you don't, if you, I part, once you show me who you are, I believe you. You ain't got to tell me twice. And if you don't match up, your actions don't match up to who you say you are, I will move around in a New York minute because I just don't have the type of time. I'm not on that type of time. I'm not getting younger. I'm getting older. And I know me. I love hard. I value friendships. And I'm not in my 20s no more to where when it used to become a time you do me dirty or you do me something, I used to pop off and just hit somebody in their mouth. I'm not at this stage no more. I'm too old. I'm 43 years old. I'm too old to be popping people in their mouth. Like, who does that? Um, but I just walk away now. It's like, once you show me who you are, I'm gone. I'm not dealing with it. I don't, I don't, I don't tolerate disrespect. And I'm not gonna disrespect nobody. But I will remove myself quickly from any situation that I deem harmful to my peace. So, yeah. I gotta clean this office, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna get ready to do. But I just wanted to come chat with y'all because I'm like, if you're my age, is it normal to not have that many friends? Because I don't have that many friends. And I don't know if that's weird or not. It could be normal. I don't know. So, yeah. I just want to know. I'm gonna get out of here. Remember to think smart, spin smarter, and have fun planning y'all out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.